Hey guys, so this is my new video from the new series that I'm starting for my channel. This is going to be basic skincare tips. So the new series is basically going to be all the how-to on makeup. There will be some hair ones, but I am well aware that my channel has been mainly focused on the hair side of things and I want to also show the makeup side of things, show that I can do um, for helping purposes for you guys. So what better way to do that than in a how-to or sort of tips for yourself. So today is going to be basic skincare and I'm going to be uploading pretty quickly to get through the list that I have compiled of what I think um, you guys would want to know and what I want to know myself as a person. So I hope you enjoy this new channel. I especially hope you enjoy this tutorial on skincare and the reason I did this one first is because I feel like this is something that everyone should be doing on a daily basis anyway but in case you were unsure of the necessities for your skin and what the benefits and things that were going to damage your skin, what they were, well then I'm going to show them and point them out to you. So I hope you enjoy, thank you so much for watching, let me know what you guys think and I will talk to you guys. So first up, tip number one, every person should have a skincare routine that they carry out morning and at night time. So I already have a video on this mentioning the products that I prefer to use and it's the brand Vichy. Yes, it is expensive, but yes, it is also very effective. I will link that tutorial in the description below for you guys. So basically, in a skincare routine, you should start off always cleansing your skin. That is going to open up the skin, remove all of the badness in it, all the grime and the dirt and the makeup that is seeped and in there that is going to cause spots and breakouts. Then you need to move on to a toner, and a toner closes back up your pores so that when you apply your foundation and all of your makeup it's like it hits a wall it can't get into your skin anymore then you want to follow that by a moisturizer there are three main moisturizing types you can have normal skin you can have normal the combination skin you can have dry you can have sensitive and you can have oily so there are three main ones but there are different combinations of those three so I have pretty normal to combination skin. I'm pretty oily on my chin, around my nose and on my forehead in particular. That's why I always choose mattifying powders for my foundation routine. So moisturizers that contain SPFs, that is all well and handy except the SPFs in those is not going to be strong enough to suffice on its own. So you should always, after you apply your moisturizer, apply a sun cream that has basically an SPF the lowest one you should go to is 30 it should be 30 50 and above because as I've mentioned before the Sun has rays UVA and UVB and these rays will cause pigmentation in your skin and it breaks down the um, elastine elasticine in your skin that hold it together in place without that you will have wrinkles and you'll have saggy skin. You do not want that. So cleansing, toning, moisturizing and sun cream. That is tip number one. So the second tip for your skincare routine is a weekly exfoliator. That should be done once and once only because if you overdo exfoliating your skin, it becomes really irritated, red and it will cause breakouts. So you don't wanna do that once a week maximum. The benefits of exfoliating your skin is it removes all of the dead layers of skin that have built up and it also helps the circulation in your skin. If you don't do that, you will have a build up of dead skin, you're applying foundation on top of that, of course you're gonna get breakouts. So that should be done once a week. The third and last tip for a skincare routine should be done once if not twice a week and that is a face mask. I'm not going to lie, that is the one area that I have trouble constantly keeping up to date with for me that is just effort but it is necessary for your skin and people in their 40s and 50s they look back and they say why didn't I have the knowledge to look after my skin when I had the chance now I have wrinkles that I can't do anything about because let's face it not everyone is going to want to get Botox so if you have the knowledge when you are young take care of your skin and you will have the benefit of that when and you the are the way your skin gets dehydrated is partially by using some of the products that you 
would use on a day-to-day -day basis like your foundations and powders and creams and stuff like that that can actually dehydrate your skin without you even realizing it so that is why you need a sort of rejuvenation once or twice a week of a so that is it for this video um three main tips should follow those on a very close religious sort of basis you will definitely see results if you keep at it the number one thing to remember within a routine is consistency so if you stick to this, you follow those three rules, you will see a dramatic difference in your skin. So that is it. It was a quick, informative video. I hope you found it helpful and you learned something new. So until the next time, I will see you guys soon. Bye.